So myelomeningocele is the most common form of spina bifida, and it results from lack of closure of the primitive spinal cord, which is the neural tube in the fetus uh, at the bottom end. And so the spinal cord and nerve roots and covering layers of the spinal cord are fused to the skin and muscle. And uh, it leaks spinal fluid out and leads to other complications over time, including a Chiari malformation and subsequent hydrocephalus, or the buildup of spinal fluid in the head. And uh, patients who undergo postnatal closure have an approximate 80% risk of hydrocephalus requiring placement of a ventriculoperitoneal shunt, which is an implanted device. Um, unfortunately, shunts are associated with a lot of morbidity and complications during childhood and, and uh, life for uh, children with spina bifida and myelomeningocele. So why do we do this in utero? Um, for generations, this repair has been done postnatally. But as pediatric surgeons and neurosurgeons, what we found is that over time, where the die is already cast by the time the baby is born. Obstetricians have noticed for several for years now that they've been able to see many of these fetuses moving their legs in utero, but by the time they're born, they're no longer able to move their legs and they're paralyzed. So it was thought really that there's some ongoing injury that occurs during the pregnancy. The goal of doing this operation early, before birth, is to try to improve the function of the baby, to improve their leg strength, and perhaps their bowel and bladder function, and also, importantly, to minimize the risk of developing hydrocephalus, that condition fluid on the brain. And when they do develop hydrocephalus and they need a shunt, those shunts, unfortunately, don't work perfectly and they lead to all kinds of complications. And it turns out that by doing this operation before birth, it, it seems to cut that shunt rate in half. And so we're very optimistic that we can have that same result for this infant. The patient is uh, Naomi. Uh, she's 23 years old. And uh, this is essentially her first uh, pregnancy to this point and uh, the baby is around 25 weeks gestation, remembering of course that a uh, normal pregnancy gestation is around 40 weeks, so we're just a little tiny bit over halfway in the, uh, in the pregnancy. The baby has an open uh, spinal defect called a spina bifida, and uh, the object of the surgery today is to uh, close that lesion for a number of reasons. The leakage of the fluid out of this open lesion uh, does two things, at least that we know of. One is to expose the nerves to the amniotic fluid, and two is to allow the leaking of fluid such that the cerebellum at the base of the brain can uh, undergo pressure. This is called a Chiari II malformation. And that kind of pressure on the uh, intracranial structures can result both in uh, issues with the cerebellum and with the, uh, the ventricles of the brain. So the baby's ventricles can become dilated. So by closing this lesion, we're hoping uh, to prevent ongoing injury and, uh, and hopefully preserve neurologic function. And in even some cases, we believe it's possible to regain some uh, neurologic function. It's a rather tricky operation that we did today. Uh, it's open fetal surgery, so the mother is asleep under a very deep anesthetic. We have to then perform a, a C-section type incision on the mother to open up her tummy and to expose the uterus. And then we have to open the uterus. This is the pregnant uterus that's filled with amniotic fluid. So we have to open that up and the amniotic fluid will come out and then we expose this spina bifida deformity in the fetus and then the neurosurgeons, Dr. Bolo and Jay today, came in and did that repair of that spina bifida defect. And then very importantly, we then have to close that uterus up with stitches and keep it pregnant and keep the baby inside the uterus and we have to have it so it doesn't leak that amniotic fluid and that the pregnancy can continue. And that's where this becomes pretty tricky and pretty difficult. Well, so far the operation went perfectly today. Uh, we uh, were able to open the uterus very nicely, uh, expose the deformity in the fetus, 
the spina bifida repair seemed to go very smoothly and we were able to get that uterus closed up very nicely and so far mom and baby are recovering very well. Uh, I don't see any signs of labor. Uh, the uterus seems to be snugly closed and the mother uh, is now uh, recovering from the anesthesia and she's doing very well. It was a, you know, it was really a multidisciplinary total force with all the different disciplines present. Everybody worked well, seamlessly, perfectly. It was a well choreographed, perfectly executed surgical procedure. It's not often that surgeons use superlatives, but this is actually one of those times that I think it's rightfully deserved.